Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the walk. Today is Tuesday, May 17th, and yesterday we were talking about the remnant and um, who that remnant is, what that remnant is like, and one of the verses that we covered was in Revelation 12, 17. So we're going to backtrack to that verse, and then we're going to expand upon breaking that down. So let's pray. Lord, as we examine this passage and really digest what it means. Help us to take it to that level of application where we're actually putting that faithfulness into practice, where we are actively thinking about ways to glorify you, actively thinking about praying with you, uh, praying to you all day long, constantly being aware of having those God goggles on our face and seeing those moments where we can glorify you. Lord, that's why we're here. We're here to glorify you and help build your kingdom. And that's that's why we are a part of this calling. That's part of our inheritance that we talked about last week. Lord, help us to put all of this into practice as we build our relationship with you. We love you and all we want to do is glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen. So in Revelation 12, 17, it says, then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring, those who keep God's commands and hold fast their testimony about Jesus. So as I'm thinking this over and I'm praying over this verse, this verse really stuck with me a lot like yesterday. It's kind of hitting me that those who keep God's command and hold fast their testimony about Jesus, what does that really mean? Well, what's, what it means is that they're faithful. They're faithful in what they've decided to do when they entered into that relationship with Christ. They said, I want you to be Lord of my life. I know I messed this up. I'm sorry for my sins. I praise you and thank you and accept what you did on that cross to pay the price for my sins and how you overcame that sin when you rose from the dead. So I started looking for passages about us being faithful now it's super, super easy to find passages about God being faithful. You know, it, it's very, very clear that God is faithful. Is it possible for us to be faithful? Well, I think the answer is yes, but it kind of depends on that moment. It depends on that scenario because we're all broken. We all sin. We have all have times where we fall short. So we're going to have those times where, yes, we are faithful, and we're going to have those times where, no, we're not. And the whole idea is, as your relationship with Christ grows, to be faithful more than what you were six months ago, three months ago, when you entered into that relationship with Christ, to grow in that faithfulness. So in Luke 19, 17, this is where um, the master has given the servants different amounts to be entrusted with. And um, one of them did very, very well. And it says, well done, my good servant, his master replied, because you have been trustworthy in a very small matter, take charge of 10 cities. When we prove to God that we can handle the calling that he's given us, that we are going to be faithful with that calling, he grows it. And that faith and that calling gets bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> And then in John 14, 12, starting in verse 12, it says, and this is Jesus talking, Very truly I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. Jesus came right out and said that we will be able to, to do the things that Jesus had been doing and do even greater things. And it's going to happen through that power of the Holy Spirit. And I, and I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. This is all for God's glory. That's the entire purpose of this. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. Keep in mind that that prayer is in his name. We're praying for God's will. God's will is our priority. It's God's glory. That's that, that most important thing. And as he continues on, if you love me, keep my commands. If we really love Jesus, we are going to follow through on the things that Jesus taught. We're not going to just go to Sunday church Sunday morning and check it off our list. We did that. 
we're good. No, we're going to we're going to really put into practice what Christ has taught us. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you to be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. This is talking about the Holy Spirit and what happens when the Holy Spirit comes. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. You walk around with the Holy Spirit inside of you, and you can walk around with that authority, boldness, and confidence of knowing that you are, an, um, you are a major part in God's kingdom, that you are his child, that that inheritance is shared with Christ, and because of that, we can be empowered in answering our calling. When we are faithful, God trusts us with even more. So as you go into your prayer closet today, give yourself that gut check. What are you faithful with and what do you need to work on? And really pour your heart out to him. He already knows, so there's no reason to hide it from him. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.